Hey everyone, Teo here. Today I am unboxing the Sense Lab Pen Tablet Medium Bundle Special Edition. First of all, big thanks to Sense Lab for sending this over for me to show you guys. So I have already reviewed the standard edition last year in April 2021 and I don't want to repeat myself here so I'm just going to give you the bottom line up front. This is a beautiful pen tablet with solid build quality and fantastic drawing performance. I did not discover any glitches while testing the tablet on Windows and Mac OS so overall it's a fantastic tablet that you can get for your money and the price for this special edition is US $379. I'm not sure if this is a limited edition though. Anyway, let's just unbox this. I believe you can just slide this out. Yes, I am correct. Just for comparison purposes, the medium size Wacom Intos Pro is also priced at 379 US dollars. So that's the thank you card. And that's the tablet. But the difference between Sense Lab and Wacom Intos tablet is uh, you get this extra gadget, this device here, which I will show you later on. Wow, so everything is in white except for the packaging box so everything is packed very neatly and securely in the box there is also a carrying case these are all the items in the box so let's look at them one by one we have a sticker these two cables are USB type A to USB type C and the type C end is an L shape these are grey coloured instead of the usual black. They are 2 meters long each. There is one artist glove and this is the warranty info. The warranty is 2 years covering the tablet and accessories. It doesn't cover the pen nibs because wear and tear. This is the padded carrying case. The design looks very simple and clean. It's a nice design. I like the fabric. It looks quite tough. We have the logo there and this is not in white color probably a good choice because uh, you don't want this to get dirty easily so that's the velcro there are two big compartments this one here has very soft fur like cloth so this is for the tablet there is another big compartment here with two smaller pockets inside where you can put the cables. This is the case for the pen and pen accessories. It's white throughout. The surface is matte textured. Build quality is fantastic. It's quite smooth. So inside we have the pen and pen accessories. There are nine replacement nibs. The black ones are the hard plastic nibs. They will be quite smooth on the pen tablet. And these grey ones are the felt nibs. They will give you a bit more texture when you are drawing on the tablet. And this material is rubber. So they have rubber padding throughout to hold the accessories. And we have two pens of a different design, but they have the same drawing performance so let's take a look at the thin one so this pen is quite slim there is an eraser at the back two side buttons and a huge grip area this is hard plastic but with a matte textured surface which feels really nice when holding it the pen supports tilt and slightly over 8000 levels of pressure sensitivity the pen tip has minimal to no movement this is the thicker pen I really like the white and grey aesthetics. So the bigger pen has three side buttons here and an eraser at the back. The buttons have good clicking feedback and these buttons are customizable with the driver. That's the nib remover. Now the pen tablet is wireless but it's not Bluetooth so you are going to need the USB type A receiver and if your computer only has USB-C ports they have also included a USB-C to Type-A adapter. This is the Sense Labs Quick Keys. Let me just turn it on. The power button is right at the bottom. 
so it's rather quick to turn on. The design looks beautiful, the build quality is fantastic. At the bottom we have this huge piece of rubber for extra grip on the table and it feels very comfortable to hold. There are 8 shortcut buttons and you can configure up to 5 groups of shortcuts so you can get a total of 40 shortcuts. That's the Kensington lock. So there is one dial here at the top with grooves on the side. There is an indent here but you don't actually need to use that to turn the dial because the surface has good texture. You can turn it very easily. There is one button in the middle. This button here is for switching between the different shortcut sets. So I've already connected the wireless receiver to the Mac that I have here and you can have the driver scan for the wireless devices which would include the quick keys and the tablet. The buttons and the dials can be customized very easily using the driver. My camera can capture some flickering, however my eyes are not able to see the flickering in real life. So the words here can actually be rotated. This shortcut remote has a good weight to it. You can actually buy this separately as a standalone, but you can only get the black one and the price is US $89 on Sense Labs website. You can probably find this on other websites as well. If you already have a tablet, maybe from another brand, you can still use this. You just have to install the driver and you can use it. This is not usable with Android because there is no Android driver. If you have intention to buy the tablet, it's probably better to buy it together with the Quick Keys remote because you will get bundle pricing to save some money. So the standard edition of this tablet alone without the Quick Keys, the black colored version is $280. So let's take a look at the tablet. I like the design of the tablet. It looks really nice. I like this curved section here. So you see, it actually curves down here so that it's comfortable for your wrist. I like the white and gray aesthetics. I don't believe I have seen a white colored tablet before. So this is rather eye-catching. On the back, I'm not sure what this material is. It's matte textured. It could be plastic or it could be metal. It feels cold to the touch. There are six rubber feet at the back and you can see there are cutouts here on the left and right side for you to lift the tablet easily. One of the downsides to this tablet is there are just three shortcut buttons on the tablet, which is why it may make sense to get the shortcut remote. I like the matte textured surface on the tablet. This is how the pen with the hard plastic nib sounds on the tablet. And this is how the pen with the felt nib sounds on the tablet. More companies should definitely offer the felt nib option because it's a really nice drawing experience you're getting. The driver actually allows you to customize the two pens separately so you can save different shortcuts with each pen. And for the pen tablet, you can customize the colors for the lights that appear at the corners. For the three shortcut buttons on the tablet, you can customize them here and you can input your own keyboard shortcut. The pen has fantastic drawing performance. Pressure and tilt works really well. Now to find out more about the drawing performance, just visit the link that I have for you in the video description below. It's for the review of the Sense Lab Pen Tablet Medium Standard Edition. If you are interested to purchase this tablet, you can find it on Sense Labs website as well as on Amazon and other 
websites which i will link in the video description below so thanks for watching see you in the next video bye